Welcome to our Green Talk Special Edition for the International Women's Day 2022 with the topic We Organize Ourselves. Since decades, women all over the world are organizing themselves, collaborate and demonstrate side by side to fight for equality in our societies. If we keep the latest developments in mind, we see the contribution of women during global health crisis, women joining forces to fight for sovereignty, freedom, and peace. We see women who defend democracy and therefore give something back to our societies. On the 8th of March, we celebrate worldwide the Women's Day and highlight on this day once more the effort women contribute during the whole year. Therefore, I'm honored to present three distinguished women from three different, different delegation countries, Poland, Catalonia, and Austria who will explain their own initiatives, institutions, and strategies to close the gender gap. It is a pleasure to present Minister Tania Vergi Mestra of the newly established Ministry for Equality and Feminism, and who will explain the intersectional approach of the government of Catalonia to a feminist transformation that includes LGBTI and anti-racist policies. Polish activist, politician, and member of parliament, Wanda Nowitzka, who will share the battle for reproductive rights and women's health in Poland and the European response to it. And member of the Municipality Council of Graz, Austria, and care activist, Christine Braunersreuter, who points out the struggle of women as being the main responsible for paid and unpaid care work, and what, for example, urban planning strategies can do to support women in these regards. Our Green Talks series focuses on topics aligned with the Sustainability Development Goals of the 2030 Agenda, acknowledging and supporting gender equality. We as a delegation of the Government of Catalonia support and advocate women's rights. With this Green Talk, we aim to put the spotlight on the activities of various associations, institutions and organized initiatives working for women's equality in our society. We thank our participants and all women for the continuous effort and wish you a happy International Women's Day. My name is Tania Verja. I am the Minister for Equality and Feminism and up to my appointment to Cabinet in May 2021, I was full professor of politics and gender at Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona. I'm a feminist political science by training, so um, the feminist imperative to act had led me to um, approach my research uh, teaching as well as knowledge transfer from a feminist perspective. It is the first time that the Catalan government has more women ministers than men ministers. The requisite for gender balance in, in government is established in the Catalan Equality Law. And this law also allows for positive actions in other fields of uh, the public administration. So uh, what this government has done is to establish gender quotas for the emergencies and police um, units. For example, currently there's only 2% of, fi of women firefighters or 21% of um, police women in, in the Catalan uh, police service. Um, in, in the current um, call for um, applications for the Catalan police, a 40% quota has been established and we have seen um, an increase of 17 percentage points of women applicants and this will contribute um, gradually to feminize the, the police corps. Sexual and reproductive rights are human rights, so the Ministry for Equality and Feminism has drafted a national strategy that seeks to deepen or introduce new rights um, on this matter. Regarding existing rights, we are going to expand the number of um, 
um, points in the country where access to abortion um, is a reality. Um, we are going to make um, gradually free access to long-term contraception or access to the fertility uh, treatments. And on the other hand, we plan to introduce new rights such as the right to period equity or the right to um, eliminate uh, obstetric violence. We are defining uh, a strategy to identify where such violence occurs and, and how to eliminate it. The Time for Care program seeks to expand the care services for children under 14 years old. This is going to help families uh, find a better work-life balance and this means that's going to help especially women because society still keeps uh, assigning women uh, the lion's share of the domestic and, and care work. The goal is to guarantee women and, and the whole society the right to care and the right to time. International Women's Day is a commemoration that reminds us the collective organization of women and the victories such collective organization has produced over the years. We need uh, to keep organizing both from civil society and, and from governments to guarantee women's rights and to also guarantee that there's no step backwards on these rights. My message to all women is keep working together because uh, it is actually working. Keep demanding your governments that they do not just produce feminist policies but also a feminist transformation that requires addressing both the immediate uh, needs of the, of the population, particularly women, but also of implementing structural changes that have the ability to eradicate discrimination, inequality and gender-based violence once for all. My name is Wanda Nowicka. I'm a Polish uh, member of parliament uh, uh, currently, but uh, for most of my professional and active life, I um, have been connected to women's movement. Uh, I have started uh, uh, the organization, the Federation for Women and Family Planning, um, which was struggling in Poland for reproductive rights. And I ran this organization for more than 20 years. Uh, currently, although I'm a member of parliament, but I am very connected to women's movement and we do a lot of work uh, together. So being an activist, feminist, this is my, my identity. Uh, being a politician is an occasional thing. Polish women have started to, to lose their reproductive rights uh, um, um, almost 30 years ago. Uh, but what is happening right now, this is really outrageous situation because a couple, um, two years ago, the, um, uh, the Polish Constitutional Tribunal decided that abortion um, is almost fully banned. Uh, theoretically, uh, it could be performed to save women's lives. Uh, um, however, in practice, it is almost not accessible. As a result of that, uh, the restrictions to, abort um, to abortion in Poland uh, do threaten women's lives. The paradox um, of the situation um, uh, that Poland is in the European Union and how does this relate to women's rights is the fact that uh, um, uh, although the women's movement is extremely supportive to, to being part of the European Union, but we have also, we have also acknowledged that uh, being the part of the European uh, Union did not uh, help us to defend and protect women's rights. The European Union standards and regulations are not really sufficient to defend uh, European women, in this case Polish women, their right to decide. Um, in the same time, I also would like to acknowledge uh, enormous solidarity of uh, uh, of women, of European women uh, towards uh, 
uh, towards Polish women. Speaking of women, what they are doing, so on the one hand they are in the streets, in the same time they are taking um, uh, legislative actions and maybe third dimension of it is the fact that uh, um, uh, women's movement uh, very strongly support those women who are being uh, repressed uh, um, by the police or other law enforcement institutions. So, so there have been a lot of actions taken. This is a day when we uh, uh, um, remind ourselves uh, where we are, uh, uh, what we experience, what are what women's rights are being violated, and what what needs to be done. So this is a very important day, and of course, uh, it is going to be celebrated. This is a day we have to seriously speak about women's rights, and not only speak, but also to. To, uh, to strategize, to think how we could change the situation. Because of course, um, as I said before, uh, Polish women uh, have lost their rights uh, dramatically. So, um, so it's a lot of work to do to, to, to come back to the situation where we have rights and gender equality is, has been achieved. You never can take women's rights for granted. Even if achieved something then can always be taken away from you. So, so that's one thing. So you have to stay vigilant. Struggle for women's rights is, uh, uh, well, is not short. Uh, it, it will take some time, but I believe that there is a vision and, and there is a, um, achievable, that women's rights eventually are going to be achieved. I'm Christina Traunersreiter. Um, I'm a chairwoman of the Municipal Council of the KPÜ, the Communist Party um, of Graz. Um, I'm, I studied museology um, and uh, now I'm doing academic work in cultural anthropology. I, um, I'm working to care work in care workers. Uh, I'm also an activist um, in care issues. Um, and I'm, I was the former speaker for women's issues. Um, but um, I give it back to a colleague because it's just too much for me, which doesn't mean I'm not a, a, a very feminist activist anymore. <laughs> there are huge challenges. Um, I'm also responsible for, uh, the, for city planning. Um, and I was not the first, but in the period before I was the um, only woman uh, in from all the um, municipal council responsible for this, um, and this is this uh, is not only in Graz this way. Uh, it's a general problem, and you see, cities are mostly planned for men and cars, <laughs> and. Uh, it, um, it, it would need more women to be active in this because women um, use, uh, women are the, the main users of the city because uh, especially mothers with their little children, um, because they are mostly responsible for the care work. Mothers are going to playground with their children and mothers going shopping. And uh, they need to um, 
uh, push the the carrier for the for the children, and they need to use the streets and the pathways. We really need to reflect uh, what city is planned for and for whom city is planned for. And yes, we we need to reflect and we need to to change a lot. Women, children need more green um, places, and there, I don't. Um, think only of parks uh, because uh, it's necessary to have uh, something. It needs uh, sometimes uh, only um, um, a tree and a little green place and a bench to, to sit down. Um, for example, to, to breastfeed your child. This is what, what I think what feminism is good for. What's good for women is mostly also good for men. The International Women's Day is still very important um, to show that uh, there are still not equal rights for women. Um, I think many people forgot about this because of course women have more rights uh, than for example, 100 years before, <laughs> but uh, they are still not equal and they are not uh, equal in how they are paid. We have this uh, channel pay gap, um, how they are treated, how many uh, unpaid uh, care work they are doing. And all of this we have to, to bring to the street. Resist more.